In this video, I'm going to give an overview of how to download the app onto your smartphone to allow you to view the Dehua 2 megapixel video doorbell, the, the battery powered one. And we're going to be using an IMOU uh, app here. So that's I-M-O-U. So um, everything we need is directly in front of us here. What we have is the actual video doorbell uh, and we have the QR code with it. So the first stage is to come along and actually download uh, the app itself. And the way we're going to do that is the user manual that comes with it has the app uh, for it and we've come along here we're just going to tap in here and we've downloaded the app directly onto the thing here and it's an android one so that's perfect and what we can do now is we can just come along and install our um open in this case because we're only doing it by demonstration there we had it already so that, that's the first thing so we've used the qr code we have the app on our phone and that, that's a good start so the next thing we do is normally we come along and we just create an account but what we've actually done again already is we've created an account but again, we'll say there's no requirement in terms of exactly how you do that. It's just you create an account and your password and that's, that's fine. So rather than hold up the video, that's a pretty self-explanatory process, okay? So the next thing is to come along and actually add the device onto the app. So what we want to do is we want to say, well, you, you, there's a very particular QR code that uniquely identifies the, um, the device on the back of it here and by using the QR, QR code scanner that comes internally inside the app where it will actually scan it directly in and now it says okay I know exactly what um, what device that is because there's a QR, a QR code that's on that device that's completely unique to it no other device in the world has the same QR code so now all of a sudden it knows directly onto that okay so stage three is to come along now and what we want to do is we want to set up uh, the phone on the Wi-Fi um, uh, network that the, that the doorbell is emitting here. So what we're after doing here is we're after pressing the, the, um, the, the button here to come along uh, to do it. And now what we need to do is we come along. Uh, we have it's looking out there and we just come and we can see the red light is flashing. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press the reset button on the back. So we're just going to hold this in and we have to hold it down normally for about five seconds or so and we see the green light is coming on so now it's saying okay let's find the device or let's find the phone that will let join on to our particular device so it's looking around and this thing is saying hi i'm a wi-fi network give me a thing and what you are saying to yourself is that's great um what, what we want to do is uh, we see that device there we're connected onto it there and uh, so we're directly onto it uh, at that point okay so um, we just create a password uh, for that particular connection. And in this case, we're just gonna create a password, uh, TV1 uh, hash, which is just the default password we always create for such devices, okay? So you can create whatever one you want for yourself there. And now what we have is we have our phone and our um, uh, doorbell on the same Wi-Fi network. But then remember that your phone, of course, is set up on the local Wi-Fi network. So now all of a sudden, via the phone, this device is able to connect directly onto your router, which we have just off uh, camera here. So there's no password required at that point. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna come along and it's just gonna to try to connect it here. So re really the purpose of this stage here is you're coming along and it's trying to say, um, uh, it's pairing it off onto the cloud so you have a P2P connection directly to it so it'll allow you even if you're working on the same a local area network to be able to go and find it at a later point okay so that's been added on successfully now okay in the process of it so now uh, the next step is going to be to come along and actually just open up um, uh, the device for viewing on it and what I'm going to do here is just so we give a demonstration I'm just holding this up over my shoulder and I'm going to aim on the side of my head so much hopefully as the free tv sign and we can see that now we're able to view that and we could do all the things now like talk into it record set up a uh, pir um, zones all the rest were there for activating alarms so it's a, overall it's a very very satisfactory um outcome so um so th that's really it like so you can see the process itself is really good so we have the snapshot the speaker and the record features on it and that's more a feature of the app so that's effectively the process complete so and um, we just have a couple of videos in the series we give an overview of the product we get how to do this and then hopefully we're going to actually just give a quick video on how to delete the thing to set it up ready to be paired to a different device if you ever need to do that so that's it anyway an overview of how to download the IMU app to allow you to actually view your the who is smart um, doorbell directly on your smartphone